Well, eight candidates made their case to the Bemidji community tonight in hopes of becoming a member of the Bemidji School Board. There, were, there are only three open seats on the board this year. A few running have already served on the board, while a majority of the, new, of the candidates would be newcomers if elected. The forum covered a range of topics, including what the candidates think is the biggest problem facing our schools. I'd like to increase um, civics education. I'd like to focus on cybersecurity in our schools. Graduation, getting the numbers up, you know, as far as graduation levels, uh, that these kids can go on and move into different higher education. We continue to graduate. Um, and so I think probably our biggest issue is, is some of our achievement gap issues. And that has to do with the mental health um, challenges that our students face. And I don't think that um, although we have some support in the schools, I don't think it's enough. You need to attend. So attendance ties into that. You also need to be proficient in those things that are tested, math, reading, science, in order for you to graduate. Graduation rates is, is definitely you know, one of our biggest concerns. Um, our hope is to get our graduation for our subgroups above that 67%. She's a gap with the Indigenous students has come up. And along with it, I mean, there's so much more to it than just, than just that. You, you take a look at the discipline disparity that happens with Indigenous students. I think it's disparities. Um, it's, dis it's disparities in the numbers of um, staff we have that are of uh, Native American descent. Uh, it is disparities in, in achievement gaps. Next week, candidates for the Bemidji City Council will participate in a similar forum. That forum will start at 6 at night and will be held in the Bemidji City Hall building. The forum is open to the public. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.